Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you the brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be building ourselves a vehicle. And this is a fire truck, if you can't tell. And there's some nice details, some interesting things that I decided to do. It's probably not the best fire truck that ever has been made in uh, vanilla Minecraft. Uh, and without any texture pack, but I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it is not functional. You can't actually go inside it at all because I used iron doors and there's no redstone to power them. Uh, there's no interior or anything like that. But all in all, it's really kind of a cool build and I hope it gives you some ideas for ways that you could modify it and make it better because that is really what this series is all about. So I think that's about enough talking. Let's go ahead and put... 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to grab some of the materials that are used here. So let's just let's just grab a few different things. We need those. Uh, we're going to need beacons. We're going to need glass panes. And that'll do for now. And we'll just build this one right next to the other one. So we'll go here. Then you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And on the ninth block, you'll put another coal. Now, quartz slabs, we'll bring that back too. That's the back end. You could maybe even bring that back three now that I'm looking at it, but either way. And then we'll just connect these with the quartz slabs. This one's going to go out one. And then you're going to go across four. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to mirror that on this side just like that and these are the coal blocks for the tires of course and just connect it around with the quartz slabs now on top of each of these coal blocks just go ahead and place two quartz slabs or you can use quartz blocks it's just faster if you already have the quartz slabs in your inventory and we'll put a button on each of those to kind of represent the rims on the tires. Now over here, we're going to take steps. I don't know why it's placing two, but whatever. We'll put two steps here. We're going to bring this across with red stained clay. And that will go basically all the way around the edge. But it'll be the same on both sides. So we'll end up doing that. And then here, once again, the quartz stairs. Now the front is a little bit different. So you're going to do red stained clay in the corners. We're actually going to use plain old smooth stone back here. And in front of it, we'll put iron bars. And that'll give us that kind of grate. Now up here, we can go ahead and bring that over. We'll put a beacon in each of the corners right there. On top of the beacon, we will put red stained clay. And then right here, we're going to put glass. And we can just knock those out because those were just to help us place the other ones. So that's all pretty easy. Now next, back here, we're going to take our red stained clay again and bring it up too. Just like that. We're going to grab an iron door and put it here and here and then these we will also build up another two and we'll put upside down quartz stairs right next to them so we're going to mirror that over here on this side and the upside down quartz stairs just like that so there's that part now coming over here this is where it starts to get a little bit easier. We're going to just bring this red stained clay all the way around the edge, just like that. And then down here, we'll just fill in this little part with red stained clay. This is actually optional because you can't see the build from underneath it, but you can do that if you feel so inclined. It really doesn't matter ultimately. So there's that part. Now, here, right behind, you'll see count two over from where the upside down stairs are. And we're going to go basically around the edge 
just like this with quartz stairs so that they kind of wrap around. And then on this side, we're going to do the opposite all the way back like this. And that will give us this effect right here. Right up here, we're going to fill this in with red stained clay. Right up until where the stairs switch. And then we will go down here and grab some quartz slabs to fill in all of this. And just, just because I feel like it, we're going to put red stained clay right there as well. Okay, so that will give us our base. That's the... That's the, I won't come, I won't call it the hard part, but that's, that's the bulk of the actual vehicle itself done. So next, what we will do is now we're going to start adding some detail to it. So let's see, we've got our windows in, we've got our doors. Let's start grabbing some things. We'll need tripwire hooks. Those are going to be our mirrors and we'll put those right there. We're going to need buttons and trap doors and fences and ladders and levers and redstone blocks and quartz blocks. So the quartz blocks we're going to place here and here and then we'll put a redstone block on the sides of them just like that. Back here we're gonna do buttons as you can see like we did right there and we'll put a couple trap doors down and this part of the build, this is not exactly scientific. This was me just kind of putting textures in where I thought they looked like they fit. So, you know, if you want to change this up, feel free. You certainly won't hurt my feelings. We'll put another button there, maybe one of these fences here. Right here, we're going to take redstone blocks and put those in as well for our, uh, I guess you would call them tail lights. We'll take some ladders and put them there. Then we'll take some of these buttons and put them in there. And we kind of have to do the same on this side too. We'll go maybe one, two, three, four. And then actually let's let's move these. I, I do want to make the builds match for this one since this is a little bit shorter build than what we normally run into. So I doubt we'll use the full 15 minutes, but that's all right. Then we'll put those up right there. Oh, actually, I got that all mixed up. Silly me. We'll put spruce fences there. I don't really know what those represent, but I thought they kind of looked cool, so I went with them. And then, oh, that goes there. Another spruce fence there. And then we'll maybe grab some cobblestone walls for like a trailer hitch right back here. So those look pretty much identical. Those look identical, so we're good there. Okay, awesome. Now, we'll clear this stuff out. We'll grab these rails, we'll grab some hoppers, and we'll grab some levers. And I'll put a couple hoppers in here and here. We'll take some rails and bring them back just like that. And then we'll knock these end ones off just so we don't have to deal with them connecting. Or I suppose we could even do that like I did on the other build. Back here, we're going to put three of these levers as kind of uh, antennas, I guess I would call them. And we'll do that. So they're facing backwards. And I think that that is definitely the build. And I am going to go ahead and call this one completed at 8 minutes and 23 seconds. So there you have it, guys. A fire truck. If you decide to go ahead and take this build and modify it and make it better, definitely send me a picture on Twitter so I can take a look. I love seeing that kind of stuff. But I'm going to wrap this up, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.